Log 60, we're going to read scripture out of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. And it says this, But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The first thing he says is, do not forget this one thing. So imagine you getting a letter from the Apostle Peter, and who was one of the three. And in this letter, you read the letter, and there was no chapters or verses, but you're reading it from the beginning. Then you get to this point, and it says this. Do not forget this one thing. So no matter how important what he's written before this statement, this is what he doesn't want you to forget. This is what the Holy Spirit, through the Apostle Peter, on the Apostles of the Lamb, does not want us to forget. Because it's in the Word of God, it's part of the Constitution, and here in 2020, it is still as relevant now as when he wrote it down on that bit of parchment. Do not forget this one thing. So whatever's going to follow this statement is of utmost importance. And he says this, that with the Lord, one day is a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. Well, so what? What is that supposed to mean? Well, you take that, and you bring it into our time now, 2020, 2020 years. Right in the very early stages of the third millennia. A thousand years is as one day. And one day is a thousand years. And he doesn't want you to forget that. So I don't know if this, if this has ever struck you as being important, but the Holy Spirit, through Peter, says to the Ecclesia, this one thing, do not forget this, because it's a key. It's a, it's a, it's a key, a kairos key. It's a supernatural key. And if a thousand years is as one day, and one day is a thousand years, and we're in 2020, we are, right, we are in the very early stages of the third day. And the word of God from Genesis chapter 1 all the way through has a lot to say about the third day. In Genesis chapter 1 it talks about the creation account of the third day. And it's on the third day that it says this twice. And God saw that it was good. He says it twice. Doesn't say it any other day, but on the third day, he says it twice. In Genesis 22, verse 4, it says, And on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes, and he saw the land afar off. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the land afar off. What does that mean for me and you? That means that this side of the cross, because we're in the third day, it is our kingdom right in the name of Jesus to have open visions, to be able to look up and see with our eyes, our spiritual eyes, our mental emotional eyes, the open visions that the Holy Spirit wants to give us. Another thing happened on the third day. Jesus went to a wedding on the third day. And he turned the water into wine. The third day is the day of the miraculous. The third day is the day of miraculous provision. More than what you need. More than what you want. But abundance. He didn't just make a couple of bottles of wine or a couple of pints of wine. He, he produced gallons and gallons and gallons of the stuff. Top quality, best wine. Not grape juice or orange juice or water top quality wine. What else do we know about the third day? Well, we know that Moses went up the mountain on the third day. Moses went into the presence of God on the third day. So the third day for us is the, we are being given access to enter into the presence of our God and our King. The doors of heaven are open to you. The doors of heaven are open to me. Remember, you are a spirit. You are not a body with a soul and a spirit. You are a spirit with a soul and a body. Your body is your house. My body is my house. And when Jesus went to the cross, 
he delivered us from being in bondage to this three-dimensional world. Our king, by the spirit, has not put your spirit under house arrest. You have the freedom to step in and step out at any time. There is a lot of revelation in the word of God about the third day. And we are living in the early parts of the third day. And quickly, last one, the Holy Spirit put Jesus' spirit back in his body on the third day. So remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.